What is going on, guys? Zephonix here. Now, before I begin, I gotta apologize for the mic quality. I do know that the mic is not up to standard right now. I have gone ahead and um, ordered the part that I need to go ahead and get my mic back working again. So, hopefully, all this will be resolved within the week. Now. So let's go ahead and talk about two games that I'm very interested in right now. Mortal Kombat 10, I believe we're at 10, and Injustice 2. Injustice 2 and Mortal Kombat 10. Mortal Kombat 10 and Injustice 2. It seems like both games are actually in development right now as we speak. It looks like Injustice was officially announced. Well, not officially announced, but it was announced yesterday. And we also know that Mortal Kombat 10 has actually been in development for quite a while now. Now, by the quite a while, I, I believe about the six months to a year now. So I would say that there's a very powerful chance that you will see a teaser trailer for this particular game at E3 2014. With that being said, if you're looking for Injustice 2 at E3 2014, then you need to just load your head and chain because you don't damn well that it won't be there. I don't know why you're looking. It won't be there. But I'll tell you what will be there. Linux support. So it looks like Steam OS and um, Linux in itself will go ahead and host these games, which means that the game will be released for Windows. It will be released for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, most likely uh, Vista, uh, Vista, Vita, that same thing, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, but PlayStation Vita, uh, a slight chance of Wii U, hey, um, one of the games was released on Wii U, so it's a, it's a chance, and doubtful, but it's a chance, and then Linux. Now, of course, the other ones, that's obvious, but why Linux? Now, here's the thing. What I'm telling you right now is purely speculation. It is not fact, nor am I trying to pass it off as fact. You would think that would be common sense. However, at the same time, I've noticed on YouTube that people don't have that, and they require you to let them know that what you're saying is based off of thought, opinion, or you're just speculating. So I got to make sure that I say that because, you know, yeah. Anyway, so here's the thing. A lot of you already know that Injustice and Mortal Kombat 9 were both made on the Unreal Engine 3. Okay, so now that we've gone through that, let's go ahead and talk about the fact that the next generation engines uh, for this particular generation, the top three, should we say, which is Unity 3D, Crytek, whatever we're on, I think it's 2, or Crytek 3, I think we're on, and Unreal Engine 4. All of those will support Linux. Now, that means that they will go ahead and be able to make a Linux version of the game, which is great for us PC gamers, because the fact of the matter is, is that Windows takes up way too much resources, and that is the primary reason why you have to have such a beefy machine in order to go ahead and run it, because all the operating system that is Windows is taking up about, um, I hate to use percentages, but I would say 25% of your, um, oh, um, uh, yeah, about 25, maybe 15 to 25% of your system resources. Now, I really hate to use percentages on that because uh, percentages, um, the, uh, the sum of percentages varies on your actual system specs. So I would say about, um, yeah, we'll just use percentages for now, just call it a day. But here's the situation now. Linux actually uses way less resources to go ahead and actually run. In fact, you have to go ahead and actually, you can go ahead and decide on which resources you want to go ahead and run. So if you want to go ahead and run only bare bones Linux with graphical support for gaming, then that's all you will be running. You don't have to run extra um, resources in the background to go ahead and run a system that does not require it. That is the problem with Windows. But I'm getting beside myself. I'll drop a video on that one day. But here's the situation now. So with that in mind, there is a very strong possibility that these games will go ahead and support Linux. So now, um, by Linux, of course, I mean SteamOS as well. Now, with that being said, what can we expect from these games? Now, let's go ahead and talk about Mortal Kombat for a second here. Because remember, with Mortal Kombat, we've pretty much gotten to the point right now where we have officially killed off about most of the characters on it, with the exception of, I believe, three, maybe four or five. Uh, I think Johnny Cage is alive, Sonya is alive, Raiden's alive, um, and that may be it. You know? <laughs> 
So with that being said, um, that game actually covered, uh, I think Sub-Zero might be alive as well, um, or he might be dead. Uh, but anyway, here's the situation though. So with that being said, what about the other characters? So I do know that uh, it's been a while, so you gotta, you know, bear with me. Uh, I do know that one of the characters that was actually in the game um, in Mortal Kombat 4, I believe it was, was in fact a girl named Tanya. Now, here's the thing about that. Um, Tanya is pretty much, uh, she was a betrayer, and what happened was is that she actually betrayed Liu Kang. But, uh, Liu Kang, Liu Kang, whatever his name is. But he's dead. So, what does that mean? You know? <laughs> okay, so if he's dead, that means that they can't do it anymore. You know, the guys from the Dark Alliance are dead, so that takes out Mortal Kombat 5, I think that was. Or um, Mortal Kombat DA, I guess we call it Dark Alliance. So that's taken out. Um, what else? Um, Shinnok might make a return. Um, uh, Rico might make a return. Quan Chi was actually mentioned in the game, so maybe he might make a return. Hey, Kai, Meat, um, Jarek, Fujin! Why not Fujin? That, actually, Fujin was my character for a little bit, so... That might actually be a good thing, but there's so many characters that are dead right now that it's hard to really go ahead and decide on who's going to be alive and who's going to be dead in this game. Also, keep in mind that this game, the original, well, Mortal Kombat 8, we'll call it, 2011, what we want to call it, is in fact covered about two and a half of Mortal Kombat. Technically speaking, all three Mortal Kombat's one, two, and three. So, but yeah, so basically it covered the whole, um, um, what do you want to call that guy? Uh, whatever the boss character name is, I forget his name right now, but you know who I mean. Basically, yeah, he's dead. So, I mean, and what about certain characters who actually were not, um, who were not in the storyline, such as Kenshin, you know, or Scarlet. She wasn't even part of the storyline, you know, uh, Chameleon, Rain, you know. I think Batara was actually in the game. Striker was definitely in the game. I think he might have survived, actually. Not really sure. But anyway, here's the thing. I'm so excited to find out what's going to happen next. Did, did Sub-Zero survive? And by Sub-Zero, I mean, you know, Cyber Sub-Zero or whatever. I don't know. I forgot. It's been a while since I played the game. I'm going to go back and play it. But, like I said, rate, comment, subscribe. What do you guys think? You guys going to be playing some Mortal Kombat when it comes out? And we could talk about injustice to the clouds come home. But, uh, you know, by clouds, I mean the one for, um, you know, um, Xbox. But, hey. Right now, yeah, uh, I don't know what to say about that whole cloud computing power thing, but I will say this. You should rate, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think about the next Mortal Kombat game and Injustice Die for Money that's coming out on Linux or any other platform where you'll be getting it. Let me know. Have a good night, guys. Zap out.